hey what's up everyone and welcome back to a new video on the channel so what we are going to do in today's video is that we're going to go through the process of using semrush so semrush is a go-to tool if you are in the plans of doing keyword research for your company maybe you're running an agency and you want to run keyword research and discover new opportunities for your client SEMrush is going to be the go-to tool to use and I'll be using it for years. So in today's video, we'll be going through the basics of using the tool, what features are the most beneficial in my opinion, and also just all around give you a tour and an overview on how to use the tool. And before we begin, just make sure you smash the like button down below. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any other content just like this one. But with that being said, let's just jump into this tutorial and hopefully you guys enjoy. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you head over to SEMrush. What I'll do is that I'll just put the link to SEMrush down in the description so you can follow along the tutorial and make sure we are in the same steps in terms of the tutorial itself. The link in the description will also be an affiliate link so I do get some kickback when you sign up for SEMrush Premium. So I do appreciate if you do use that link down in the description. But with that being said, what we're gonna do in this video is that I will just be walking you through some of the main features that I personally use in my day-to-day -day life in terms of SEO. But when it comes to SEMrush, SEMrush is not only for SEO, as you can see in front of you here. It will allow you to dig into more of your content marketing, your PPC, you'll have your social media, as well as your competitive research as well. But what we will be focusing on in this video is gonna be the SEO part. We will dig into a bit of the keyword research aspect and what kind of opportunities you can find by using tools such as SEMrush. So the first thing we're going to do right here is that what I'll have open here right here is a website that we created in one of the tutorials here on the channel within Wix. It was a Wix tutorial on how to start a dropshipping website using Wix. And on this website, what we have is reusable face mask, which is going to be the product that we want to potentially sell and try to target within the Google search or any other search engine for that matter as well. But what we want to do is figure out what kind of keyword would be useful for us to target in terms of your reusable face mask or any the other keywords that we can use how are our consumers searching to find our product specifically because you never have an idea you might have an idea in your head so let's say you are a realtor and you imagine that people just search for realtor but when you eventually do that keyword research what you'll figure out is that consumers tend to search in many many different ways and sometimes to your surprise as well in this case reusable face mask is probably the keyword that probably will be the most relevant for our business overall but what we're just going to do in this video is figure out if there's any other opportunities that we can target within the reusable face mask which is going to act as kind of like the foundation for our keyword research here so what we'll just do is i'm I'm gonna copy the reusable face mask right here so we can have it at hands. Then what we'll do is that I'm gonna just jump over back to SEMrush and then in the little box here at the top, it says you can enter a domain, URL or a keyword. So what we will do is actually just search our uh, keyword right here, which is gonna be reusable face masks. And then just click on search and let's see what we can find. So what we'll have here is that this is gonna be our keyword research or the search volumes from Germany. But because this is an English word itself, it's just gonna be relevant in the US, maybe United Kingdom. We actually have the breakdown here as well. Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and other English speaking countries. So what I'm gonna do for the sake of this video is that we'll just go for the United States because this is generally gonna have the highest search volume uh, in terms of each every keyword is that we are gonna use uh, the United States in this case uh, to do some of our keyword research here. So what we can do is we can head over either here in the keyword overview tab will kind of give us a brief overview of everything that goes on in terms of this keyword. So what we'll have is our volume. So Usable face mask have 60,500 monthly search volume, uh, but it's really gonna depend each and every month, but this is based on the last 12 months. Then we have the keyword difficulty, which is 90%. The keyword difficulty is essentially just looking at what other type of websites are ranking for this keyword. What are the domain ratings? So how powerful are these domains? What other type of content do they have on these domains? And how likely is it going to be for us to rank our website on this keyword? Now, something that we have to keep in mind, because our website is a new website, brand new website, we haven't even published it yet we have to take the keyword difficulty in mind because we are not going to be able to go out there and hunt for the biggest of the biggest keywords because these are going to be way too competitive in most cases so what we'll have to start off doing 
is targeting keywords with less search volume so we eventually can grow our website, grow our domain rating and grow the authority on our website where we eventually are in a position where we can target the more competitive uh, keywords as well. Other than that, you also have the CPC here, so cost per click. I don't think Google allows for, uh, for uh, paid ads to be on uh, mask related keywords which is why I imagine it's at sale right here. But usually what you'll have is that some sort of CBC to have a good understanding of what people are normally paying per click for this specific keyword. Then if we go over to the side right here, results on SERP. So this is how many different pages are ranking for this keyword. So there's 135 million different pieces of content which are currently ranking for this specific keyword. So we have to keep this in mind as well. It's a very competitive keyword. There's a lot of different other people trying to target the keyword as well. And there's so many different websites who are mentioning this specific keyword. In terms of SERP features, so these are gonna essentially be what you normally see within when someone searches re reusable face mask, you can have your FAQ, uh, you can have your image pack, you can have people also ask, you can have site links as well as reviews. So these are all SERP features that you can find within this specific keyword. So when people search for this, you will have these different SERP features. Then looking at the trend over here, we can also see the trends over the past few months. It's gonna look at the last 12 months. So you can see, see that we have this big spike, which I'm gonna imagine being last May, maybe June, it might even be April. Uh, so what we'll have is a quite significant spike here and then it kind of just uh, went back to normals, uh, normal levels as the pandemic kind of slowly uh, went back to normal. Then going down, we'll have a bit more interesting things here for our keyword research piece. So we'll have keyword variations. So these are other variations of the specific keyword that we have. So black face mask reusable, 3,600 search volume a month, reusable face mask, reusable face mask with filters, 3.6K, kids reusable face mask. So what we can see is that we have some potential keywords here that we, we could potentially target as well. Maybe even create a new landing page where we are uh, talking about our black face mask. So that could be potentially be a good keyword for, let's say this is our product right here, which is a black uh, reusable face mask. So that could potentially be a good target keyword for this specific product. Now going back, we also have questions. So these are generally good to have on your FAQ page where you can target the FAQs uh, that people are generally just asking around face mask in this case. So the FAQs we have here are, are face mask sheets reusable? Are face masks reusable? Are Sephora face masks reusable? So this is gonna be a branded keyword, not necessarily relevant for us because why would we mention another brand on our website? Uh, but it's still in here, so it gives us a good overview of what other competitors are doing as well. How to clean a reusable face mask, also a question that we have in how to make a reusable face mask. And then finally, we have related keywords, so reusable face mask, reusable face mask, reusable face mask, reusable face mask, just different spellings of the keyword. And then we'll finally, we have washable face mask right here as well. Now, if we keep going down a little bit more, what we'll also have in here is that we have the SERP as well. So in the SERP, what we'll have is this are gonna be the websites which are currently ranking for this keyword. So this can be super useful if you wanna have a look at what are our competitors doing in terms of this specific keyword and what type of content do they have on their websites. So if we have the first website here at the top, let's just take a quick look at what they are doing on their website. So this is gonna be more of like a blog post I'm imagining. So let's see if we can get inside. We have tested 78 and counting actually kind of stylish fabric face mask. Uh, so this is more of a blog post. I, I assume it's just gonna be affiliate links throughout here. Uh, so they're just gonna get money when people eventually read this article and then they decide to click here, $16 at MAM mask, for example, and then they will get some commission on each person who are buying a product through their links. This type of content you can see is very long form. There's a lot of variations within this content. And generally this would perform very well in terms of the content itself because it's actually comparing products. So it gives users a good starting point when they are doing kind of like the research on what ma mask should I buy? Is this mask better than this one? Uh, and other questions that people might be having when they're shopping for a face mask. If you do go back to uh, the other people who are also ranking here, we can see that we have Amazon at the top. So that is also a huge competitor here. 
We have the Rolling Stones. We have Wired. We have 3M.com. I haven't heard of this company, but let's take a quick look at what these guys are doing on their website. So it took quite a while for this page to load, uh, but this one is not even an e-commerce website. I'm guessing here where to buy. I'm assuming you'll have to go into a store. So in stock, okay, you might have to go over, okay. So you have to go over to another retailer to buy these specific product. So generally this page is doing good in terms of the content itself is good overall. Um, but what it generally doesn't have right here is that you cannot instantly get the product on their website. You have to go over to another website to actually get the product. So here potentially there could be uh, some room for a website which actually has the product directly on the website, makes it an easy checkout, adds a lot of good content to it, have good product images and just sells the product very well. I could see potential of ranking a good uh, landing page on this specific keyword. But as we mentioned, this keyword is very, very competitive. So what I think we can do is actually jump over to more of the specific keywords that we have uh, in the recommendations here. So in terms of the black face mask reusable, this could potentially be a good keyword. The keyword difficulty is still very, very high. Uh, but let's have a look at what we have at the bottom. So we have Amazon ranking, Amazon, Etsy, Insider, Rolling Stone, PopSugar.com. I haven't heard of PopSugar.com before, but this seems to be another article type website, which are just mentioning different, uh, which are just mentioning different masks and recommending them to you uh, what kind of mask you should get. But that kind of gives us an overview of what these keywords are doing as well. But if we really want to dig in deeper on different keywords, what we can do is we can jump over to the keyword magic tool here on the side. So I'm just going to click on the keyword magic tool and then let's see what type of keywords we can get. So we are very limited here in terms of keywords. I would probably think that this is due to this being a sensitive topic. So they're not gonna have a big database on face mask specific keywords. Uh, I might be wrong here, but that is just what I'm imagining. So if I actually go back here and then we search for face mask reusable, I'll see if we can get a wider variety of keywords. And yes, we do. So in here, we'll have all of these keywords ranked uh, based on their search volume. So we'll have at the top reusable face mask, black face mask reusable, reusable face mask. Um, let's see what else we have in here. I think I saw wholesale. So you have wholesale right here, 590. Now we're looking at more um, okay keywords in terms of their search volume. And I'm going to assume that their keyword difficulty is not going to be relatively high given that they have a fairly low search volume. So the bigger brands generally try to target these bigger uh, keywords or reusable face masks, for example, while the lower keywords may be around 50 or 100 searches a month they can't really bother focusing on these keywords. So they mainly target these top ones anyway. So that generally leaves some room for the smaller guys to kind of dig in on the rest of the keywords. And then eventually once you grow your website and you get additional traffic and you build the authority of your website, you can start implementing the more uh, high search volume keywords that are more competitive, but you have more authority on your site to be more likely to be able to rank for the keywords as well. Now, looking at the wholesale reusable face mask, for example, let's head over to this one and check it out. So what we have here is that we have a 67% difficulty. So now we can see that it's starting to drop lower and lower. Now, still wholesale face mask and face mask topic overall is a very trending topic and has been for the last 12 months. So that is also going to add to the keyword difficulty here. If you are a wedding photographer, for example, or if you are a realtor in New York, or if you're a realtor in Texas, whatever you are from and whatever type of business you have, the keyword difficulty will really vary depending on your industry. If you take online gambling, for example, online gambling is a very competitive space, especially in terms of SEO, because there's so many affiliate marketers who are trying to target the online casino keywords. So that is going to be super competitive. Also looking at finance, anything finance related, credit cards, you'll have uh, banks, all of those keywords are also going to be super, super competitive. So unless you are in those specific niches, you will have a more of an easy time in terms of ranking for your specific keywords. But if you're targeting the more competitive industries, you'll have a harder time ranking for those keywords as well. But now what can we actually do with the keywords that we find? So let's say we have a wholesale, a reusable face mask on our website. What I would do is just copy this keyword straight up and then go back over to our website. 
Now, where you have your current website, it will really depend on where you're hosting your website. Maybe you have a WordPress website, maybe you have a Squarespace website. In this case, we have a Wix website. So what I would generally do here is that I would try to implement the keyword you have found or the keywords that you found in your content. So let's say this page right here was only about our wholesale operation in terms of our face mask. I would have our title here at the top as wholesale reusable face mask. So we can target that keyword within the main title that we have. I would change the title tag on this specific page. So if I jump over to our title tag right here, we can see that we would also want to update our title tag here at the top. So it does include the keywords as well obviously a bit more structured than that and that make a super relevant meta description as well that goes well in terms of the keywords you want to make sure that you're targeting the keyword very well in terms of your messaging as well now on this what i would probably do as well is actually update the url slug so the url slug would most likely just be a straight up uh, keyword right here so wholesale reusable face mask face mask is most likely going to be the url slug for this one as well but given that this is the home page of this website it doesn't really make sense to update it right now uh, but generally that's what you want to do then in terms of your content on these pages you can see that we do have some content in here so we do have some room to create some specific content around wholesale up here instead of maybe talking about the mask we can say okay fast fulfilling orders you know, order minimum 500 masks and then something else like guarantee blah 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 just to make our points to our potential wholesale customers who are coming into this specific page then what i would do is just keep optimizing the content making sure that the landing page is really targeted towards the people who are searching for this keyword because if you're searching for wholesale you are probably going to be a b2b customer and you want to make sure that the content is adapted to that while your other pages so maybe black face mask reusable face mask that is going to be more of a direct to consumers or a b2c keyword and in those cases you want to make sure that you have more of this kind of like branding around your pages talking directly to the consumer and explaining why your masks are better than your competitors what i would recommend you to do is just go ahead and play around with samrush try to find some keywords that fit your brand if you are a local brand so maybe are a local restaurant i would try to navigate some keywords that does have your city name within the actual keyword itself. So if I'm looking for a sushi restaurant in New York, for example, I would search sushi restaurant New York. That's like gonna be the most basic keyword overall. So what you can do is pull that keyword as kind of like your base, pull that into SEMrush and then you'll get some additional ideas that other people are searching for as well. But that is going to be the end of this video. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, as always, please make sure to leave a like down below. If you didn't like the video, leave a dislike. And if you have any questions on how to use SEMrush or maybe any other tools, leave it in the comments as I try to answer as many comments as I can. And if you want to join our Discord channel, our Discord channel will be linked in the description down below, which is free to join for everyone on the channel. So make sure you head over to the discord channel if you want to hang out with other people who are also interested in digital marketing seo website design or whatever it is you'll find all of that within our discord channel but with all of that being said thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys in the very next video